A La Jolla Police Department Facebook post renews attention to the border. Now, what this Facebook post said is that an officer was waved down here at the Whataburger and customers were concerned that there was a migrant family inside the Whataburger. They were coughing, they were sneezing, no masks, just germs everywhere. So they reported this to the police officer who went inside, talked to management, and management said that they wanted that family to leave. They produced a paper to the officer and said, we are here because we crossed the river. But we have proper documentation that allows us to be here. The family then spoke to the officer and what they said to the officer again, all according to this Facebook post, was that they had been apprehended by Border Patrol just days earlier, tested positive for COVID-19 and then were released. When they reach their destination, wherever it may be in the nation, they are to report to the nearest ICE office within 60 days or face removal. Now what they found out was happening after talking to hotel management here where the family said they were staying here at the Texas Inn and Suites was that Catholic Charities of Rio Grande Valley had put them in that hotel after testing positive for COVID-19. Now this is true apparently of all of those testing positive for COVID-19. The, the hotel management says that they booked up a bunch of rooms there at the hotel and are keeping all those migrants that have tested positive for COVID-19 there. And it was verified that they were staying there. And not only that, there was other family units that had the same form. We did not know this. No one told the city of La Jolla, no one told the police department. The Facebook post also says, according to La Jolla Police Department, that they've seen dozens of people outside of that hotel coughing, sneezing, no masks. So who is actually tracking those that have tested positive? Clearly no one was tracking them when they made their way over to Whataburger where this event happened. Can you at least tell me if it was properly sanitized since Monday? Were you shut down at all yesterday? I could just give you the, the number for the incident hotline and you guys could ask those questions that you guys need to be asked. Can you even tell me if it was cleaned or sanitized? No. no. You can't tell me if it was cleaned or sanitized since Monday? No, no, I could just provide you with the number. I understand, but I just want to know if it's been cleaned or sanitized since Monday. Yes, ma'am. It has been cleaned and sanitized. Okay. So to review, on Monday, there was a migrant family in Whataburger coughing, sneezing. The family themselves said they had tested positive for COVID-19. And just days later, day three, Whataburger is operating like nothing ever happened. There was no, no closed time. For me, having come from California, anytime there was a COVID-19 case, those businesses or federal agencies, they closed down automatically for 10 days. And again, day three, operating as normal, Whataburger there, right there, verified by the La Jolla Police Department that there was a family COVID-19 positive in there and it's business as usual. Reporting from the Whataburger in La Jolla, Texas, I'm Christy Lee.